Hey, Jamgo, are you as excited as I am? Oh, yeah, sure am. This is what I've been waiting for all week. You know what? I'll just cut to the chase and admit that we all have zero idea what you're talking about, Rarity. Speak for yourself. I, for one, am just as excited. All right. Now I know for sure that you all really have no idea. Otherwise, Flush, I would have never admitted that. Okay, okay, you got us there, Twilight. So what is it, Rarity? To be honest, now that I had a few moments to think about, I can't really understand why I was acting so excited about this in the first place. Are we ever going to hear what you were talking about? Of course, Mr. Flash. You should be clear that I decided to bring that up, considering you'd be the most hyped for this release. Oh, the fuck I'm You're not seriously going to waste even more of our time to talk about the fucking Far Cry 6? Then why did I not pull the trigger this morning? Really, Rarity, you seriously want to talk about Far Cry 6? Oh, Potter, too. I thought this would be a good topic to get us started, so we won't have to spend the beginning of the sketch not really talking about anything. Well, that sure as hell did work out, didn't it? A whole minute in and we haven't even begun discussing. Hey, it's not my fault that you guys aren't able to make a normal conversation without constantly nagging and wasting time. But the girl whose lines are by far the longest here. Oh, oh, and stop the fucking talk already! Okay, okay. So, what did you all think of the game? Uh, it's all right, I guess. I haven't played it, to be honest, it's complete horseshit. Huh? No, it doesn't surprise me at all that you would say that, Watershot. That you haven't even really played. And your statement is solely based on the fact that it's Far Cry, and you're obliged to hang on it for that. Oh, but you know that I did indeed play this piece of shit. Only as I was expecting. This game didn't do anything that I wasn't expecting it to. Me not saying, same old villain archetype, the same way our character tech with that serve as your eyes. Quest book is more precise, really. Overall, my crisis did not disappoint. No, the wrong one. You really are just full of hate, aren't you? Please. Don't tell me you actually think the cast you guy was anything new or fascinating. He was just basically paving me in without the metrosexual bias. And also without any sympathetic character trait. He didn't even really have any nuance in his personality. He just seemed evil for the sake of it. Oh my god, even get me started gameplay-wise. The formula there has some proof since Trey, hold on. He did it some new things. You mean like security plans and outposts? Well, a revolutionary. It's not like they used to get back into a new weapon. But you know what? If I'm going to be completely fair, there's one thing I don't like about the game. Oh, yeah! I wonder what kind of cynical deeds that could be. You like the secret in me? The family just looks off to America. Maybe everybody is so called a nice guy. And actually made me. Come on now, there has to be something else worth noting about it. Perhaps some minor details that normal people don't even pay attention to. Do you mean like the takedown animations? Yeah, kind of like that. Takedown? I'm sorry. Don't you mean to say machete kill? Yeah, just rub it in wide on you. All right. If I'm going to be completely honest, I'd be soft and worse before. The animations were quite brutal and really bloody and gory. Well, I must say, sometimes a bit long. Yeah, I can actually agree on it. But it's nice that you can do the throwing knife move again. I like the fact that you could use those watchtowers and their laptops to mark objects in an outpost beforehand. It was a nice change to the usual fiddling with angles to get everything. And at least those so-called movies were all just the animals. Wait, you didn't have to stomach these stupid one-liners. You sure it wasn't that you could fantasize about yourself and who up it? I mean, what that would be your thesis? But actually, what I like most about the game is those used to fight. But when you came in Mortal Kombat style? Yeah, that was pretty nice. I also, because it let me forget I was playing the card crap. Why did I expect anything else? But let me tell you that it's working you can certainly be said about Ubisoft after this release. They really get away from all the criticism. And the only way the company would be able to be to open signs. What is that supposed to mean? Well, you are the person to let me down to come up with other criticisms to have in the sign of the technique. His only hope of contributions would be grunts and groans. Yeah? Now I'm sick. This Johnny Hill has to be the kick of my chest. Literally has to comment on everything happening on screen. He swears. Sometimes it felt like he would just start mumbling himself at once and saw for no real reason just to fill the silence. I mean, this was protagonist. And then there's that. Well, at least they got that dragon for to back up the turn of doom, but they removed him five for no reason. You all Fluttershy, I can't help but notice that this wife should be in the one shooting on this game the most. Y'all are also the one having the most to say about it. I thought you'd just have tested it for like two hours and then never touched it again. Considering how much you seem to hate this franchise, anything else would just be illogical. Hey, I do hate it, alright? But that doesn't mean that I wouldn't finish it. I mean, if I want to tear something apart, I have to know it inside out. Oh, come on, and why won't you just admit that you secretly actually like the game? Like how I do. Far Cry is a stale series, and this new game sucks. Ubisoft open world games just suck in general. Who cares if it feels satisfying for it? At least far still the game's defining the game that is actually pretty from causing chaos and just cause stuff. Games have to be morally challenging. They have to make a statement. 
You can't just play a game simply for fun. That is such a waste of time. I don't know what it is. I think the problem is less than far cry. Rather than just this new <laughs> The game still sucks? Wow. She really destroyed you now, Rainbow. Y'all wanna know what I thought was pretty neat about Far Cry 6? Sure, go ahead. I like the fact that they use the same voice actor for male darling as Alexio from Macy Hutt. On the one hand, it immediately removes any capability for this character to be anything of his own, but on the other hand, everything you said sounded just amazing. Hey, I think this only applies to the German dub, so your statement has zero bearing on this conversation. Perhaps, but I still want it to upset it, because I'm just a sucker for all No, I'm a little confused, they say. I thought you had said that you were a gamer, because you had a knife, remember? I don't know what y'all are talking about. Oh, I see. So that was probably that other AJ from Equestria who said that. We traded places for some time, remember? Yeah, that's right. So she just went back home between the sketch and our last without saying a word. Fucking nice of her. If the one knew this all along, you're seen superb or surrounding me. Uh, thanks, I guess. And no, even after having met my own final part. This whole multi-dimension thing is still really fucking confusing to me. What am I to say then? I was there and they overwhelmed. I turned into a fucking pony. It's a big deal. Haven't we all? I seriously hope y'all ain't referring to that pony up. To be used to me, that ain't possible in the slightest. Why not? I honestly see my real difference. How about the most for stuff? Ever woke up to the realization that the button heads were gone? Oh no, but whatever. Nice safe player. Take what? Another thing, why? What are y'all looking at for all the time? Your eyes are tortured than a rattlesnake's tail. I'm looking for this weird robot guy. Robotics. It was about to play with the last sketch when he suddenly showed up. So I don't think it'll be much longer now. Robotics might be from the last sketch. Right, just out Oh, no. Oh, shit, y'all. Oh, guys. You. Never mind. It's the sunset show. What's going on? Why are you all so panicked? You keep going on with me, fear, but you might be robotics again. Oh, I see. Not an unreasonable reaction. Hey, Sunset, where have you been again? This is just like last time when we just joined our sketch in the middle. Why are you never here for the start? Well, that's simply because I have to bring a new pile of the table. And that would only really make sense if I joined you guys later. Well, she's right about that why. So what exciting news do you have for us, Sunset? I'm not really sure if exciting is the right word for that. I honestly would rather call it concerning. What is it about? Well, it's about the very thing that made you jump just by me getting close. The lattice. Please don't tell us that you just recently saw this little piece of stupid. I thought you were going to return to Equestria. Unfortunately, I myself did not see you again since the stupid cameo. Also, having left me with peace, such a day I decided to head into town and investigate on his whereabouts. And I did in fact stumble upon some very telling things that assured me of his presence. Namely, the trail of people confused and alienated people who left behind. So he really is on the loose in this very town. I'm afraid so. Well, I must say that despite his massive annoyance, he doesn't really harm anyone. The only thing he seems to be doing is walking up to random people and harassing them with his incoherent talking and constantly telling them to see new clothes, which I can only imagine are inside jokes. Once and only he is, hit on. He would then proceed to laugh in his artificial manner and rejoice about his great sense of humor. And when, of course, nobody else would get his jokes, he would just turn around without saying another word and walk away while seeing the theme song of this new Philodian show. My wife is a teenage robot. Thank you for giving us such an in-depth description of how this robot need is wasting everyone's time. But the center of what you're saying is, Robotus is still here. At this moment? Yes, he is. <sighs> what can I like? What can I like indeed, Twilight? Because since the portal to Equestria is by now closed again, we are stuck to keep on mission for a while now. Why does this always happen to us? Does fate just hate us? I would have to guess. I would say, fuck if I know. Thank you for this important contribution, Sunset. Always happy to oblige. You know, this was all really fun until you, but I just realized something. I've been meaning to ask you this for a while now, Sunset. What is it, AJ? You know that I went through that portal a while ago. The trade places with my pony counter. When I came to this ponyville place, it was all hella confusing. And that was mainly because of the counterparts of my own family that I met there. They were so creepy, I didn't feel just as ponies. It was really nerve wracking off. Yeah, I can understand that. I kind of felt the same when I first saw Principal Celestia in this world. But you know, that got me thinking. Every one of us has a counterpart, even Twilight, who we didn't even know for the longest time. So I'm relatively certain that that should also have applied to you, so to say. Uh, well, I guess that would make sense. I see where you're coming from, Applejack. We've been going to the school for almost ten years now, and for us long, all long, Sunset Shimmer. At least who she was. Um, what are you trying to say by that? I don't really uh, understand. Well, Everyone at Canterlot High remembers the time when you suddenly became the most fearfully around. And looking back, this change happened basically out of nowhere. Well, um, 
I have my reasons for that. When exactly was it that you left this equestria and came here? It, um, well, it was about five years ago. And when did Sunset Shimmer develop into our former holy self? About five years ago. Sunset? Um, uh, what's the name of that? Do you know what became of your alternate self? Yes, I do. Really? And what? Okay, before I say anything else, you have to promise me that you will take everything into consideration that we all have been through, and the person I am now. And you must understand that when I left Equestria, I was deeply consumed by my inner darkness and on a very wrong path. I do not like to look back at this time. But what? Sunset? What happened? Did you do something bad? Yes, I did something very bad. Oh, I'm sure it won't be as bad as you might think it is. You might be right about that. It will be even worse. What did you do, Sunset? When I arrived here, I quickly realized that this place was a human mirror of Equestria and so that there also had to be a counterpart part of me. So the first thing I did was to track her down. Once I had found her, I visited her home one evening, and when she opened the door, I... I, I jumped her. I wrapped my scarf around her neck and I... I, uh, I strangled her right there in the doorway. I did it because I knew I had to take her place, and I could only do so if she couldn't pull my cover anymore. And once I had gotten rid of her body, I took her place and lived her life ever since. That is the one thing that I can never forgive myself. Holy fucking shit! This all got real fucking dark really fast. Yeah, I can't believe what I just heard, so you're a murderer! I am, or more so I was. Please remember what I asked you. I'm no longer the person I was all of those years ago. Please, let me come to this crime. I want to do Me, I'm no longer this people. Please, I beg of you, please forgive me. I know what I did with him. You must believe me. It's no longer me. Hey, so I thought about all this for a moment. And what do you think, Applejack? I think what you did was absolutely terrible. That was some serious cycle. But I said I was. Oh, man. man. I just recently visited the place you used to call home. Taking that into consideration, I don't think it's anything out of the ordinary. In a world like that, you've got to go insane. So you forgive me? I do. You might be a murderous psychopath with blood on your hands, but you're our psychopath. Oh, that was such a... How about no? Anyone opposed? Oh, something. Well, I didn't even know that I was going to Oh, you guys really are sweet. Oh, we know. Now come on, yo, let's hear it for our little murderer. <laughs> <laughs>